My name is Dunya Vasilievich, I'm 24 and I'm a diagnostic radiographer. What I do on a daily basis is x-rays. I go to operating theatres. I may work in CT, which is a cross-sectional study of the human body, or maybe in adult emergency or paediatric emergencies. We take the images and we make sure the anatomy is well aligned and make sure that the quality is good because if the quality of a film is not good, it can sometimes misdiagnose a patient and give a wrong pathology. We do technical side of things, we'll do the operate the machinery. We move around quite a bit in our work, sometimes we're on our feet all day. You can never predict it, you don't know what's going to happen next. Computer tomography is different to normal x-rays because computer tomography is actually a cross-sectional study. So the patient will go in on a table and go through a gantry through a tube that's going to rotate and take a few images in one slice and it's much better clarity of the organs and tissues, whereas plain x-rays is mainly for bones and plain breaks. A lot more of CTs are being requested these days because they give much better clarity than x-rays, depending on what you're looking for. A lot of people don't know much about our profession and they're, really, they're a bit scared of radiation. But well, we are being monitored by these TLD badges. They measure how much radiation we get to make sure that it's all in um, safe limits. We stand behind the lead screen, we also wear lead gowns and lead stops the radiation. I always knew I wanted to work in hospital environments, but I didn't know what I wanted to do. And I was interested in healthcare. And I just saw radiography and it looked a bit challenging to get in. And I thought, okay, I'll give it a go. I didn't know much about it. There's a lot of anatomy, it's very detailed and physics. But once I got through it, I was pretty happy. Once I started doing practicals and going to hospitals and seeing what actually happens, I was quite happy to stay there and do it and finish it. It's only a three year degree, which I found attractive and I had a job before I finished my final exams. This course is actually internationally um, recognised, so you can pretty much go anywhere in the world and work. If anyone is interested in doing radiography from high school, I'd advise them to do some science subjects, some maths, physics, have good communication skills and be able to keep up with always changing technology and be a good team worker as well as being able to work individually. It could be a job for life. There's so many different areas that you can do. I mean, you never get bored. You can go and specialise and do MRI or ultrasound. It just depends what you like. Radiography is a huge part of research, huge. So it's always developing and constantly changing. A special skills for this work, I guess you'd have to be a good decision maker and lateral thinking and really good knowledge of anatomy and physics and be a good communicator. A lot of patients may be anxious and they don't know. I mean, they come here and it looks pretty scary with all the equipment and they don't know what's going to happen. So you just have to relieve their stress and just explain to them. A lot of procedures are just really harmless and not painful at all. So you just have to be good in that respect. There is a strong demand and a lot of people go, you know, just overseas and work for a bit and then come back. They can still have a pretty much guaranteed job when they come back. The best bit about my job is helping others and monitoring their progress and just being able to make a difference in someone's life. Okay, we're just about to start, so make sure you hold nice and still now. At the moment, I'm pretty happy with it because there's so many avenues that I still have to, that I can still go and learn and better myself in that respect, but I'm not sure what's gonna happen. <laughs> but so far, I'm happy with it and I'll stick with it and see how we go.